So what must I do to my LGBT friend? Number three, calmly explain why you believe that gay Christian is not the truth. You see, it is very, very important to engage in honest conversations about your faith, about your beliefs, and about your lifestyle choices. The Bible in the book of Ephesians chapter 4 verse 15 encourages speaking the truth in love. I hope you understand that. We must be compassionate. You have your own beliefs. They have their own beliefs. But there is this belief system that the people who belong to the LGBT movement have. And that is that they believe that you can be part of the LGBT movement and still be a Christian. So we have what is known as gay lesbians, gay homosexuals, gay transgenders. That is what, as a child of God, you must lovingly explain to them that it is not true. And my dear friend, the truth is that this is where cancer may turn a dark corner or where God begins to soften the heart of the homosexual who is in need of heart transformation. And you must understand that this is spiritual warfare because you are going to be tearing down lies of Satan and crossing lines that stomp on his demonic agenda. Satan loves to cripple God's creation with sinful lies. And one of those lies is that you can both be gay and still follow Jesus Christ. There's nothing wrong with that. You see, the Bible clearly states that homosexuality is sinful. And Jesus himself defined marriage as being between one man and one woman. There are several other passages that helps us to see how the Bible presents homosexuality and how the new Christians should follow Christ. For example, when you read Genesis chapter 19 verses 1 to 13, the Bible presents the story of Sodom and Gomorrah and makes it clear that sexual relations with same sex were highly condemned. Again, when you read Matthew chapter 19 verses 4 to 6, Jesus Christ said, Have you not read that he who created them from the beginning made them male and female and said, Therefore a man shall leave his father and mother and hold fast to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So they are no longer two but one flesh. What therefore God has joined together, let no man separate them. So it is very clear from the Bible that marriage is not between a man and a man or a woman and a woman, but a man and a woman. That is biblical marriage. So explain this in love to your LGBT friend. And so my dear friend, that is the truth. A man and a man cannot marry according to the Bible. It does not matter what people believe. In fact, when you read 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9, the Bible lists several sins that if they are continuously practiced without repentance, will lead to being outside of the kingdom of God. The Apostle Paul said, Or do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived, neither the sexually immoral, nor idolaters, nor idolatrous, nor homosexuals will inherit the kingdom of God. You see what the Bible says. So the Bible is explicit about this. But you don't um, use that as a weapon to destroy them. It must be done and it must be said in love. To be able to say this in love, you must begin with prayer. Understand that what these friends of yours in the LGBT movement are going through is actually a spiritual warfare. The enemy has worked so hard on their mind. So we must pray for them. We must pray endlessly for them. Once we pray for them and present the word to them, God will break every hardened shell in their heart and the truth would be sown and it will grow and bear fruit. And my dear friend, that is the truth. One cannot be a gay Christian because the title is actually a contradiction of the truth. To be a gay is to actively be in sin and to be a Christian is to actively follow Christ. Just like we cannot say that um, we, we, there's nothing like a lying Christian or a greedy Christian or a thief Christian. <laughs> there's nothing like that or an alcoholic Christian or a wife or husband beating Christian. There is nothing like that. Same way there is nothing like a gay Christian. We must let our friends who are in that movement know the truth. But before you let them know the truth, you should have lived with them with respect. And when you are telling them the truth, you must speak the truth in love. Don't go attacking them. Don't go condemning them. 
don't stigmatize them don't let them be seen as if they are not even human beings they are also human beings they are god's children god sees them the same way god continues to pour his bread of life in them just as he does to you so you must give them the respect that every child of god deserves